Hello guys, this is question 2.74 and these questions are now related to the conditional probability. So what is the conditional probability? We will get to the point after a while. So let me first read this statement. A class in advanced physics is composed of 10 junior, 30 seniors and 10 graduate students. Okay. So let me write the given data here. So So given data is uh, in advanced physics class there are 10 junior students okay so the junior students are 10 in number okay similarly 30 senior students we have 30 senior students and 10 graduate students okay so graduate students are 10 so this is the data for the number of students in a class so uh, the final grade show that three of the junior students 10 of the seniors and five of the graduate students receive an a for the course so let me write the course course data here so here i can write with this black color and uh, three of the juniors okay and 10 of the senior and similarly Five of the graduate students have received A grade. Okay, so these are the grade A students. These are the total number of students. Okay, and these are the symbols I have been using for different cadre of this. So these are basically the number of students and the number of students who has got A. If a student is chosen as at random from this class and is found to have earned A, what is the probability that he or she is a senior okay so let me solve it here solution of it is here and what do we have to find out i have to find out the probability that he is a senior student given that he has earned trade a okay. So, uh, on the basis of the conditional probability, what do we have? We know the formula that to find out the probability of A, given the probability of the event B, it would be the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So, here, what do we have here? So, here A is the probability or the event that a student is senior okay b is the event that he has earned a okay so therefore on the basis of it what we will have here we want to find out the probability that he is senior and he has earned a divided by the probability that a student has earned A. Okay. So, uh, do we know the probability that a student is senior and he has also earned A? Yes, that is also given here and that is here. Okay, because now we have the 10 number of students okay who have who are senior and attained a grade divided by the total number of students which are how much which are here 50 okay so that is what that is for this one okay so he is also a and also senior student as well do we know the probability of earning a yes we have it as well because here we can see that there are basically 3 plus 10 13 plus 5 18 so we have here 18 students who has attained a grade while the total number of students were 50 so therefore this is the probability of attaining the a grade okay so the probability of the earning a is also given here and also the probability of attaining a and s is also given here so let me put these values here and i will see that this will be the solution of this question so let me use this blue color for it or uh, let me use this color 
so now putting values here so senior and earned age that is here okay so it would be 10 divided by 50 divided by the probability that he has earned a that is 18 by 50 18 divided by 50 these two will cancel out and at the end i will get 10 divided by 18 or 5 divided by 9 so that is what that is the solution of our question which we had to find out so uh, that is the solution of our question in which we have seen the application of the conditional probability that how easy it is to imply it for the given condition and see the results which we had to obtain okay so that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video see you soon